Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again. This is BVI Channel 1, where we tell you raw, unadulterated truth. Opening up the eyes of Nigerian people and the general public to see beyond their nose. We know that the corrupt, recycled old politicians in Nigeria are not comfortable with the revolution that is already happening. And the man of the moment taking the center stage. We weep for Nigeria if you will get to the world level and see those who make decisions who you vote for. You will weep for Nigeria. A, a council of in Nigeria earns more money than a professor of medicine in Nigeria. It doesn't happen anywhere in the world. Democracy is supposed to be government of the people by the people for the people, not so for Nigeria. It is the government of the corrupt by the corrupt for the corrupt. This is the only place in the world the lecturer is not paid. But then you hear that a House of Assembly member is buying cars and dancing to people. And they say he's doing well. Where did he get the money from? They are the miserable, hungry, desperate, illiterate, ordinary people. Mobilized there by the politicians and funded so that they can put their own people there. Politics or public life. It's not about winning or losing election. That is for transactional politicians, which most of the politicians here are. For them, it's a business enterprise. So if you lose the election or you're not in position, your business is not doing well. That is not for, same thing for me. No amount of English, no amount of protest, no amount of prayer, no amount of fasting will take Nigeria back from this evil and wicked politicians. And this is a new politics. We need somebody with capacity, competency, and somebody that can bring the country together. Our question is its lowest. And somebody that will tackle the economy. Can I say this to you? They are a credible Nigerian. I want to serve Nigerians. They are a brilliant Nigerian. I play politics differently. For me, politics is not a war. It's a relationship. They are a pathetic Nigerian. I want to serve Nigerians. They are a Nigerian that can fix this nation. I want to serve Nigeria. They are a Nigerian that will not steal. I want to serve Nigeria. They are a Nigerian that are God fearing. If you look at my life between the time I was in office and today, you can't see any difference. Saying, register and have your INET card, have your voter's card. This is my own INET card. Now the question is, after your voter's card has been secured, who will you vote for? Is that silence the bitter for me? For president. They are doing everything possible to stop it. Beginning with bringing confusion, distraction, and division within the Labour Party. When you see this kind of post, posters flying all about on the social media platforms and the secular media, just know that it is still the handwork of these same old politicians who doesn't want to leave power. Do not be distracted and do not be disturbed because we are heading somewhere. Now and again, they're also trying to, you know, play a, a trick. You know, I tell you that both APC and PDP are two sides of the same coin. They are just same politicians, all jostling for their own personal interests. They all belong to one party, the party of personal interest. And we've heard that the Northern governors have, um, you know, said that power should shift to the South. I mean, the APC Northern governors. Our meeting today is to reaffirm our position that in the interest of unity, in the interest of peace and also justice, we recommended that the next president should come from the South. The governor of Kogi State chose to excuse himself from meeting with Mr. President uh, because he believes that uh, he does not agree with our position. There are 14 APC governors in the, out of the 19 northern states. 13 of us are on one page on this subject and we all came to see the president. But the, the governor of Kogi State excused himself and it is within his democratic rights to excuse himself. We look at the totality of the issues in our country. We believe APC with 22 governors, APC with a president that has delivered on democratic dividend across the breadth of this country, has everything going for it. 
what is the political brinksmanship that we need to bring so that every component of Nigeria will feel important. Uh, like I said, there are northern candidates of northern extraction, and we are not ignoring their capacity or their interest, but we felt that if political expediency can encourage a step that will bring more peace and resonate with everyone across Nigeria, we are bold enough to see it. They are doing that to divide the votes of P2B, believing the bulk of P2B's vote will be coming from the south. But they are in for a shocker because the entire Nigerians are in for this same man. For one purpose, to free themselves from these same old recycled politicians. They are from the east, they are from the west, they are from the north, they are from the south. Do not allow yourselves to be distracted. Do not allow division. Do not allow ethnicity or religious sentiment to enter into this very revolution. That is just the advice I want to give to Nigerian people. We will be focused, we are determined, and we must deliver ourselves from these men. That is the hope of every Nigerian, because all Nigerians are victims of these same people, the impunity of this Nigerian state. Whether you are Biafran, Oduduwa, Arewa, whatever thing you are agitating for, your hope depends on this. And I keep saying that the only solution to the problem of this country is to return Nigeria back to regional government and allowing the right kind of people from different regions to man their affairs, maximizing their potentials, securing their territory, and taking control of their future, their economic life. So it is one life opportunity. I just decided to make this video to prompt Nigerians about the power game of these people. They are not interested in, in making your lives better. Their only interest is to remain in power. They believe if power shifts, um, the presidential flag bearer of APC comes from the south, they will have better chance of delivering article in PDP. You know what will happen? They will all jump back to APDP and continue their, their game of corruption and impunity, sharing your destiny. Do not allow that to happen and do not be distracted. Don't mind them. They don't love the South. Their only interest is just for themselves and themselves alone. Share this video and help us inform Nigerian people better. I'm signing out. I'm just a voice. I've delivered the message. Please help me share it. Bye-bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Drop your comments. I would like to have your opinion on this. Stay safe.